Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video, this is Josh here and today we are going to be reviewing the Traxxas T-Max Classic. So what do you get out the box? So you get the ready to run truck with the body and the pins and everything. So it comes fully assembled just as you see there. You get a spare air filter. A little tub of air filter oil you get battery for the easy start and the easy start box itself you get a four-way glow plug wrench you get the charger for the easy start and you also get a fuel bottle this isn't the Traxxas fuel bottle because mine actually ended up breaking um, which is a shame but I um I just got that one cheap aftermarket so um, you also get a head protector which was designed to go on there to hold the glow plug wire and protect from scratches but mine fell off and I just haven't got another one so let's take a look at the T-Max there it is so if we take off the body first review of the body is it doesn't take a massive amount of abuse really as you can see is fairly damaged and if I can get up closer I don't know if you can see that but where the pins go to hold the body on it's all bro it's broken so when it wheelies the, it will pull the, the body off through the pins so then the body just goes along and just like crashes down like so um, gets a little bit annoying but it's taken a lot of abuse that body so as you can see by all the <laughs> all the scratches um, so yeah that's what it comes like this is this is the classic T-Max 2.5 um, I've put the tuned tuned pipe on it there um, got it from Traxxas. The stand you get you get it comes with a standard plastic one, but I just prefer the sound and the look of the tuned one. That's the only reason I bought it. So you've got eight oil filled shocks, two on each corner. Um, I did end up adding a couple of spacers on the rear, just because um, it was a little bit soft and it didn't sit sit evenly. So I just even the stance of the vehicle up a little bit um, the only thing another thing I ended up doing was adding this skid plate the center skid plate there um, and an aluminium rear skid plate the only reason I added the aluminium rear skid plate was because it broke the original plastic one broken half it broke just along there like just after the after the diff carrier there so um instead of buying a plastic one again i just i just bought the the, the aluminium one um one of the first upgrades i got was that aluminium skid plate there just protects all the tra transmission and the drive line a little bit more um other than that it's completely standard um so it comes with it's got the two-speed Traxxas transmission. That's the old style. It's got re with reverse. Um, an honest re opinion on that is, I'm not a huge fan of the reverse. Um, I do use it. Don't get me wrong, I do. It's a little bit hit and miss. It, you know, sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. It'll get stuck in drop. It'll sometimes it won't engage reverse, and sometimes it'll get stuck in reverse. Um, so it's, it's not brilliant. I'll only use it if I have to, if it, you know the truck's gone a fair way away and I crash into something and you know reverse out there and save me walking over there. But you know sometimes you end up walking over there anyway. Um, another thing I'm going to upgrade is that steering servo. Um, just there, it's it's very weak. Um, it's alright when you're driving along, obviously, but it, it it's um. 
you know, if you're in a tight, you get yourself into a tight space, you, the Turner Circle is quite poor on it. So, um, I will be upgrading that for a waterproof one as well, waterproof upgraded one. Um, other than that, I have had a couple of issues with the with the primary drive on the or the final drive on the on the gearbox. I have damaged a couple of gears in there, so it's on its third set of primary drive gears. Um, both my both times my fault. First time the batteries went got too got too low and it engaged. It did, this didn't click. The reverse didn't click back into drive properly, um, so it, they were like both like half engaged. So it just damaged that. And second time was me doing reverse donuts, reverse burnouts in it. So and it engaged. It, then it, it it broke. So both times my fault. Not nothing to do with the truck. Um, it's very simple to, you know, it's very easy to to replace. There's only I think the parts are only about seven pounds, so not too much of an issue. Other than that, I have broken one of these tie rods on the rear, that one there. Um, but you don't really tend to break the front because the steering, you know, the steering will move, will give, rather than break that. But on the rear, obviously, it, they're solid, so they they do end up breaking. Um, so I just carry a spare a pe a spare pair around with me in my in my bash sack. Um, so just to help protect that a little bit. Other than that, these things take an absolute beating. You know that they are brilliant. Never had any suspension arm issues, never broken the tops off the shock. And I'll put I'll put a clip in here of you know some bad crashes I've had with it and um you'll see how much of abuse it it does actually take. Um you know it isn't a is it for everybody the tyres, really good grip. They just last forever. Um, this truck I've had it for three years now, and um, still on the original tyres. They don't break or anything. Um, that's all good. They give good grip as well on most terrains. Really, you know, wet, wet like concrete tarmac, and that's a bit greasy. Obviously, they'll slip a little bit, but other than that, it's all good fun. They're good off-road in the mud everywhere really um yeah so 2.5 engine never had any issues with that it's been absolutely brilliant i i will include a link in the description for um after run care of what i do for my truck of my t-max but it does apply to any nitro engine um of how i keep keep it um, what I do after I come back from running it. It's been, I run it on 20% nitro fuel. Um, I don't use Traxxas top fuel. I just use it from my local hobby shop, um, which is an Austin model center. Great shop. Check them out on Facebook. Um, yeah, it's a great truck, guys. It is really great fun really easy to work on if it, anything does go wrong not that it has really for me you know never ever broken a suspension arm shock tower like i said nothing um you know the bumpers are great they got their sprung bumpers so they um they do take up a lot of impact which is brilliant it's just a great truck i love it it's um so much fun you know, it takes us takes so much abuse um it's fast two speed Love hearing it change up through when high RPM. It sounds sounds wicked. Love the smell of it. Just just it's a great truck. Um, I'll definitely you know I'll definitely get another one. Um, I'll definitely recommend as well. Yeah, it's great. Uh, another problem I have had is this spur gear. Uh, the slipper pegs in there are quite weak. Uh, I don't know if there's an upgrade. Maybe some of you can help me out with that. Um, I always keep a spare slipper, um, spur gear in there with the slipper plates, slipper pegs and clutch plates on it um, with there as well, just in case. But I keep on track, top, top, you know, keep on track with the nut, so it's nothing to do with the nut coming loose. Um, it's not set too loose. I don't lock it up, but it's not, it's not loose either. It's um, but they do seem to wear out. So I don't know if any of you guys can give me a, 
a tip on what I could do with that. Other than that, you know, drive shafts, I keep the standard drive shafts, never had an issue, prop shafts, nothing an issue with that at all. Um, yeah, just great truck. Um, the only thing, like another thing, obviously, is this aluminium rear skid plate I've got on there. I will get one for the front just because it looks cool, I like it. Um, but yeah, it's an awesome truck. The only annoying thing is with it, the easy start battery, which is, let's see if I do it one handed. There you go. The battery inside here is obviously charged up. We, this charger comes supplied in the box, ready to run, but it only, only comes with a car charger or cigarette lights charger, um, which is a pain. So you have to buy a, a converter for that. Um, I bought the Traxxas one, but you can get any one. It's, um, with, that's the only, there's another downside to it. Like I say, the bottle broke for the fuel, but you know, that's, you know, it fuel's quite potent stuff and it's been in there, you know, the, the bottle's three years old and it's only just broken. So I can't really groan, groan too much about that. But, you know, that's all minor things, you know, it's nice that you can get that included in the kit because sometimes you don't so I can't really moan about that you know what you're paying for is, is the truck and and the trucks is it's awesome it really is you know oh, the only thing I've had break is this silicone I've had to put some more silicone on for the like the tube in here for the brake and I just put some cable ties around it just to give a bit more stiffness so the brake works a bit better um, other than that completely standard it's yeah it's a great truck Love playing with it. It's the stuff that goes up is awesome. I'll, add, like I say, I'll add pictures of the crashes we've had, and it never, like I say, I've only broken that one there, the skid plate. That's pretty much it, to be honest. It's other than the body smashing up. It's awesome. So yeah, that's my opinion on the Traxxas T Max. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. I'm just starting out my channel. There is a lot more content to come. Um, so if you could give me a subscribe, really appreciate that. Um, give me any tips on what you think I could be doing better or different. I'd really appreciate that. Um, yeah, take it easy guys. I'll see you in the next one.